Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we have another unboxing video which is this Bandai Avalanche Axia this is the non-grade 1-100 to Bandai release of course um, this kit was actually released quite some time ago it was released in July 2008 based on the information that I get um, it was released in Japan but in my country I don't know when it was released but yeah, um, so July 2008 that's almost like um, seven years reaching eight years already but yeah nonetheless um, because this kit last time when they released um, i do not have the money but now um, but i actually re-released it so that's good anyway without further ado let's just um, take a look at here first so as you guys can see this non great one to 100 you can see the box art here like this here's the like explosion he's flying away this is like escaping from something and then here there are some english wording here so if you guys want to read you guys can pause and read and you guys can see here it was in this timeline it says in 2307 i'm not sure um whether in 2307 there will be gundam because i'll be dead by then ha 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 anyway at the side here the other box art let me just focus here so you guys can see here are some movement here uh really nothing much here you can see the normal pose here flying off here you can see he's holding the gn sword and here you guys can see all the weapons that it comes with it's still kind of sad i mean because it's non great so this thing will just in pure the gray color and at the top here is just the same and it says here um i'm not sure you guys can see let me just hold properly it says here mechanical detail so yeah it was in 2008 so not sure how the mechanical detail thing that they claim is again let me just focus again so yeah you guys can see here is the Axia Avalanche here's the back of it mostly in Japanese so I and I can't read Japanese so yeah there's really nothing I can translate it to you guys and here you guys can see the Avalanche Axia in the art uh, this part here so yeah this in the sort of like in the anime or manga form so yeah the box is done the i mean the box art is done now let's just take a quick look at the parts so now we'll take a look at the parts so here the first part of course is the white color part um here maybe you guys want to see the wee fin so yeah the wee fin is just like that and then here's the head over here it's kind of sad um hopefully I think this part, the year, the year, year of the mobile suit, um, you're going to put a sticker and then the transparent part cut over. And then here, yeah, then this maybe is the leg or hands. So yeah, basically, first part is just like that. And then next here, we have the grey piece. This should be sort sort of like the inner frame. But of course, you guys know that non-grade is not, um, does not have an inner frame. It's just a large version for the high grade. But yeah, nonetheless, let's take a look. Here, of course, looks definitely is the body part here. So, yep, nothing much because grey. Usually, it's like the inner frame that forms everything. And then here, of course, this is the legs. And I have built, actually, I have built one Axia, which is the Mega Size, now that I remember. So, yeah, so one, I've built one Mega Size. Maybe the next one I will get is the Perfect Grid. But of course, I won't get the original Bandai must the perfect grade we most probably get Kao Kao or Tapan if they release any and then, and then yeah let's come back to here here's just the hand here and then here's the, of course the Gen sword so yeah next here another white piece of course here's the Gen shield the armor here here's the Gen sword <coughs> then yeah then here's the hands and then here another blue color piece here of course the Gen shield here the I think this part should be the gen drive. Here's the armor, everything. So yeah. Next year, look at the amount of polycaps. I'm not sure if if we'll be using all of them, but the sheer amount is just um amazing. <laughs> then next year, of course, is the beam saber effect. You have the long and the short one, of course. So just put it inside. Next here we have this blue color piece here. Of okay, now here we have another part here. Of course put the gen drive as well so this should be the large armor piece then next year we have the end part this is like the multicolor one should form most of the kit here you guys can see maybe just want to show you guys the hand 
yeah here quite detailed so yeah maybe mechanical detail on that it's correct then the rest really i don't know what else to show so maybe you guys want to have a look yourself so yeah put it here and then next year we have another one this time it's red yellow white and transparent piece here so let me just zoom here so yeah transparent piece is here so this is the a part and then next here we have another gray piece here this inner frame should be the armor one so yeah again next year we have the blue color this squishy squishy blue very flexible so yeah i do not remove the plastic yet because do i need to have dust in it now here is the stickers that you come with so there's lots of it um, hopefully um, the the sticker quality is still there and of course finally next we we'll take a look at the manual so of course here the manual the art here is just like that again um, the information here is the same as the box art that i showed you guys just now so yeah as you guys can see a very cool axia going to the avalanche axia going to action so yep next year you guys can count the parts first so they are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so there's only 13 part um but given the amount i mean given the how bulky axia avalanche is 13 parts it's so much lesser so yeah can't wait to build it so of course as always this time around they started with the body first instead of the head so yeah so the body is here then the head is here then the rest the arms everything and then here you can see some information then over here is the legs and then over here you guys can see his uh, maybe some things you guys want to see sort of like a short information like i say i can't read japanese so yeah that's too bad Maybe I should take up some classes then. Here you can see the author. Then here is of course the Setsuna F Seye. And then over here, continue more parts on the legs. Then everything here. Then here you guys can see there is an extra piece. Not sure whether it will enable the Excel to do some app crunch or anything. But yeah, still maybe just increase the height slightly a little bit. Then here of course completion of the weapons. And then here is the completion of the final Avalanche Axia. The back here, at the back here you guys can see like that so yeah again here the X avalanche XS is actually fighting against the flag sort of like the main enemy like our usual main enemy is the zaku but here of course they're fighting the gen flag so yeah so here are some information that maybe you guys want to see some color details so on and at the back here more awesome looking um avalanche xr pose so yeah that's it so of course this is a very quick unboxing because due to the amount of short part there is so yeah i will be building this kit first now that i've done with the top and strike freedom so yeah that's it for today's unboxing i hope you guys have enjoyed today's unboxing if you guys do have enjoyed please drop a like down below subscribe to me if you haven't subscribed to yet and of course share to your friend if they want to know how the unboxing of this kit looks like before they decide to buy so on and so forth so yeah until then i hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys real soon in my other videos that will be coming out soon